Every day, millions of people have breakfast with these delicious cereals to meet the enormous demand. Tons of corn are harvested. But how are millions of cereal boxes produced every day? We visited the cereal factory to discover how simple corn kernels are transformed into crispy and nutritious cereals that you enjoy for breakfast. Corn flakes were accidentally created by the Kellogg brothers in the 1890s. They were trying to make a dough, but they left the boiled wheat for too long, and it turned into corn flakes. Instead of discarding them, they decided to toast and taste them. That's how the first cornflakes were born. In the early years, cornflakes were mainly sold in bulk boxes and were considered a healthy and easily digestible food. Over time, the popularity of cornflakes grew, and it began to expand nationally and internationally. This is the Kellogg factory. It is the largest producer of breakfast cereals in Europe. Everything starts in Argentina, where corn is grown on 390 farms. During the harvest, corn cobs are pulled out, and then up to 30,000 tons are shipped to the UK, with enough corn to make over 500 million bowls of cornflakes. The cornflake production line runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, producing 1 million cereal packages each day. In the first step of corn cereal manufacturing, the corn is carefully selected and cleaned. This process ensures that only high-quality and impurity-free corn kernels are used. The corn kernels arrive at the factory and undergo rigorous quality control. Their size and freshness are checked to ensure they meet Kellogg's standards. The selected corn kernels are stored under controlled conditions, such as cool and dry areas, to preserve their quality. In some cases, additional conditioning is performed where the kernels undergo a controlled moistening process. This helps soften the corn husk and facilitates the flake extraction later on. Before grinding, the corn kernels undergo an initial cleaning stage to remove impurities like stones, dust, and other residues. The kernels pass through a series of seeds and vibrating screens that separate the corn particles. After the initial cleaning, the corn kernels undergo a more detailed secondary cleaning. Gravity separators and vacuum cleaners are used to remove finer impurities, such as small stones or residual dust. Clean and high-quality corn kernels are sorted by size and density. Specialized classifiers and separation equipment are used to ensure only suitable grains are used in cornflake production. Once the corn selection and cleaning step is completed, the kernels are ready to move on to the next stage of the cornflake cereal manufacturing process. Selected corn kernels undergo a soaking and conditioning process. This step is essential to soften the kernels and prepare them properly for the grinding stage. After cleaning, the corn kernels are transferred to large soaking tanks specifically designed for this purpose. These tanks are filled with hot water and used to soak the kernels for a specified time. The corn kernels are fully immersed in hot water in the soaking tanks. The soaking time can last several hours. During this process, the hot water penetrates the kernels, helping to soften the husk and facilitate grinding. In some cases, after soaking, the corn kernels may undergo additional conditioning. This involves the addition of steam or heat to adjust the kernel moisture and improve its texture. Additional conditioning can help achieve better husk separation during the grinding stage and obtain more uniform corn flakes. Soaked and conditioned corn kernels undergo a grinding and separation process. This step is crucial to convert the kernels into a fine and homogeneous dough that will later be transformed into corn flakes. Characteristics of Corn Flakes After soaking and conditioning, the corn kernels are transferred to the factory mills. The kernels are fed between two large steel rollers rotating in opposite directions, one slightly faster than the other. The mills are specialized equipment designed to grind the kernels and obtain a fine and uniform corn dough. The corn kernels are ground in the mills to convert them into a thick dough called corn dough. During the grinding process, the kernels are crushed and reduced in size to achieve the right consistency. The resulting corn dough undergoes a separation process to remove the husk and other unwanted particles. After separation, the final corn dough with a smoother and more uniform texture is obtained. 
This corn dough is the base material that will be used to form the corn flakes in later stages of the manufacturing process. Once the grinding and separation step of the corn is completed, the corn dough is ready to advance to the next stage of cooking and flake formation. This step is crucial to give the corn flakes their crispy texture and characteristic shape. The corn dough obtained from the grinding stage is transferred to large mixers. During this process, additional ingredients such as sugar, honey, salt, or other flavors can be added according to the specific cornflake recipe. The combination of heat and hot steam cooks the corn dough, causing it to expand and become more malleable. After cooking, the hot and cooked corn dough is extruded through a machine known as an extruder. The dough is forced through a die with specific openings that give the flakes their characteristic shape. As the flakes are formed, they are cut to the desired length and size. This process is carried out by adjustable blades in the extruder that cut the flakes as they exit the machine. After flake formation, they are transferred to a conveyor belt or cooling system where they undergo rapid cooling to solidify them. During cooling, the flakes also dry out, helping to maintain their crispy texture and prevent excessive moisture. This drum mixes the flakes and sprays them with a boiling sweet solution. They are ready to move on to the final stages of the manufacturing process. The freshly formed corn flakes undergo drying, cooling, and packaging processes. These steps are essential to ensure the quality, freshness, and shelf life of the cereals after the initial cooling. The corn flakes are transferred to a drying system. Drying is carried out by passing hot air through the flakes, helping to remove any residual moisture and ensure their crispiness. Once the corn flakes have been properly dried, they are moved to a cooling stage. During cooling, the flakes are exposed to cold air streams to reduce their temperature and prevent them from sticking together. Before moving on to packaging, the corn flakes undergo rigorous quality inspection, are visually inspected, and tests are conducted to ensure they meet Kellogg's flavor, texture, and appearance standards. Once the quality has been verified, the corn flakes are transferred to packaging machines. Each precise combination of corn flakes falls directly into a bag that is heat sealed from both top and bottom to prevent any defective bags from passing through. They pass through a sensor that measures them accurately. Before finalizing the manufacturing process, labels are applied to the cereal packages with flex containing information about the product, nutritional content, and expiration dates. Subsequently, the packages are stored under appropriate conditions to maintain their freshness and quality until they are shipped to distributors and retailers. This final step is crucial to ensure that the cereals reach store shelves in optimal conditions and are ready to be consumed within the next 24 hours. Over 1 million cereal boxes will leave this factory. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and share it with someone else who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to continue learning.